overtime issue isn't something that's new. Quite frankly, it's been an issue that we've been dealing with for over a decade. While the fire department says the problem isn't new, city officials want it solved. The city's oversight committee recently revealed the department has already spent its almost $11.2 million overtime budget for fiscal year 2019. The department is required to fill 371 positions to make sure that the city is safe and that there are a number of contributing factors as to why so much overtime is needed. There may be scheduled sick, scheduled vacation days, sick leave, members who are on FMLA, or even have a scheduled um, day off for that matter. We have to build in practices in place so that the agencies can function properly and keep the citizens safe. Councilman Brandon Scott, head of the Public Safety Committee, is calling for the mayor and fire chief to figure out a better way to make the system work with less overtime. It's very clear that if we're taking fire people off of fire apparatus and paying people overtime, then what the conversation should we should be having is around increasing our medics because that's what's driving it, and we're not having that conversation. And we need to have the accountability measures in place so that we can have those conversations. The president of the Firefighters Local 734 says the biggest issue is when fire stations actually have to close in order to make sure that paramedic positions are fully staffed. He told us over the phone, quote, we need to get more full-time EMS staff to relieve the pressure on certain firehouses. That is a real public safety issue. Now, the mayor's office did not return our request for an interview. This issue is far from over as the Public Safety Committee will be holding another meeting with fire department officials on April 2nd at City Hall. We're live in North Baltimore tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.